Hey there guys, what is going on? Slop here, and my frame rates are dropping like a fly. Anyway, what's going on? How's it going? Um, nice to be back in this beautiful world, Creatinators, playing Creativerse, as you guys can uh, no doubt see. My frames actually have gotten a little bit better, although I am recording uh, with a different setup today. I think my capture card finally died, so I'm recording on the same computer I'm playing on, which is uh, not what I usually do. So, I hope everything looks and sounds okay. I'll um, probably be tweaking a little bit, but what's going on? How is it going? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, there was a little tiny bug patch update um, that happened that seems to have the world and game running a lot smoother, which is really nice. So, good job, Playful. In the last episode, we... Um, did this blueprint, which I really like, but we have to connect it to our pathway here. And uh, we have a few more quests to do. If you press X, you can get to your quest menu. And uh, yeah, we have a few different quests we could do. Um, corruption dust, five blueprints, diamond armor. <clears throat> you know what? Let's uh, track this one and this one. I do want to finish a few more of these quests today, but I also want to do a little bit of building. Last time... We just uh, got really into the quest, figured some stuff out, did a bunch of them, and that was awesome. It was a lot of fun. You get a ton of stuff for doing them, but I, I feel like I kind of want to, um, you know, do some building today, as well as some quests. We'll break it up. Anyway, um, a lot of you people, a lot of you people, a lot of people, um, I was just talking about the badges, and I was like, why are my badges not somewhere? And uh, a lot of you said, it's in your bag, you equip your badges over here. So, yeah. That's cool. So, if I go O. No, I guess I can't see my own badge. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see your things, you can equip them. It doesn't actually say what they do. So, this one, less corruption. Actually, that'll be nice. We have a corruption uh, challenge to do. Hold your breath longer underwater. So anyway, um, yeah, what do I want to do today? I want to do some building. I want to do some, a few quests, but mostly building. If we go over to here, I want to do a little bit on the storage room and then a little bit at spawn. So let's go over to our storage room. If you guys remember two episodes ago, if you were around back then, if you're new, welcome. I'm working on a storage room currently. And I've got quite a bit of it done. Today I kind of want to get a ceiling in. Um... So yeah, this is my storage room. So the idea is you land here, you got a really quick grab stuff. I put in a processor here. I'm going to put in a furnace as well. Because I came here and I landed and I was like, oh, I have all this stuff here and I need to process something really quickly. And um, it was quite a walk to my processor. It's not something I thought about. And having just one down here for like a really quick process was great. So anyway, what I really want to do is get in uh, the roof in these sections. Um, the sections here. We'll finish this another time, perhaps. But I do want to get some roofs in. Some roofs in. So we're going to work on that. One block I do want to use is the stone barred window, which is brand new. Whoa, 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 buddy. I didn't mean to press the space bar. Barred window. This is uh, brand new, so we'll track that as well. Ah, look at all the stuff we're tracking. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go kill some shrew shrews. I'm going to go do some taming. And um, I'll come back and we can start work on this roof. Here we go. I adjusted some mic settings, so I hope it's okay. What are we killing? Shrew shrews. That's you guys, right? Yeah, okay. We just need to kill 10 of these. The speed potions... Uh, will be a big help. <laughs> the speed potions will be a big help for this. It's a pretty big savanna. Ooh. It's a pretty big savanna, so we shouldn't have too hard of a time. Also, one of those... One of the quest tries... One of the quest line's uh, rewards was like 10 healing beacons, which was... Um, crazy. This is where we were fighting the idols, by the way. Ooh, we still get the effects from it. This is where we were fighting the idols. Uh... I think there was four of us that day. Tashlin, Sidon, maybe Avler hopped on. We were having a great time on stream one day. I promise I'll get back to streaming soon. Um, yeah, this is so much better with this speed potion. It is 
fantastic. Ooh, hello. Hello, good friend. Excuse me while I... Man, I cannot talk today, can I? I don't know what is going on with my brain, but uh, my apologies. Okay, we got our Savannah one done. Now we just need to go tame, feed, and then collect a Pigsy's droppings. Ah, <sighs> the other nice thing about this is while I was doing the Savannah, I noticed I was taking a ton of damage and I realized I'm wearing obsidian armor. And I've definitely talked about this before. I'm terrible at armor and making armor and doing armor. So this is actually giving me the perfect opportunity. One, I have to go to, um, I have to go to the, uh, at the <laughs> corruption. I have to go to the corruption, uh, anyway to, um, oh, I didn't need the second one, did I? I need to go to the corruption anyway to, to to complete one of the quests. I have to kill, get some corruption dust, which is the perfect time to get a bunch of it, make Lumite armor. And then I'm going to make just tons of sets of it, I hope. That's that's the goal. Um, so we'll hopefully set up something there. So let's see. We've got our Pigsy. What do you eat? Where are you? If I just stand over here, will he come to me eventually? Hello? Doesn't look like it, eh? Hmm. I thought I had some pigsies. I don't know if I do. Anyway, let's uh, check out the rewards. We get 20 true trues and a treasure chest. That's pretty cool. Uh, in theory, we would have the next ruffian quest into the deep. Miru's night rocksters. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this one here. 10 Corruption Dust, 10 Lumite Ore. So that one's going to be interesting. I should probably make some Lumite Mining Cells just to have. I, I kind of just want a storeroom that has a bunch of really good armor and, and swords and weapons and stuff. Just so that way I always have them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, enough of this. Let me build a little bit. I'm just going to finish this quest, get it off the screen, make some of these barred windows. And then uh, let's get a roof in this storage room. Well, here is the before. I'm going to do a little bit of work um, off camera because I'm not entirely sure what I want. And usually that means I'm going to fuddle around for a little bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to try and include the barred window. It's probably going to have Adobe. Um, maybe even some more wood accents. But we're going to try and see if we can't make something pretty cool. We're basically going to go up to this point and then we'll do this room a separate time. It'll probably have a bigger ceiling. This doesn't actually have to be that high. I'm not too worried about that. So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys on the other side of whatever the heck this ends up looking like. Oh, boy. Okay, a few things. Uh, one, these windows take a ton of... Um, these, uh, these barred windows take a ton of... Uh, can I eat these? What do they give me? Oh, 200 health. Okay, um, these uh, barred windows are crazy expensive. They take four iron rods for two of them, um, which I, I know some people say, oh, you have so much iron, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty pricey. Um, also, uh, they look good. I'm using these wood floors as a little bit of a, a wood texture up there because um, I thought that would be nice to bring in somehow. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is you can see I've put some peak stone. I ran out of peak stone, but I put some peak stone up there. And part of something I was thinking about recently is we have all these different sections to this base and they're all sort of designed a little bit differently. They all have different blocks, different aesthetics, but I kind of want to connect them all. And one thing that the other two, uh, other three sections that we've done all have is um, Peak Stone. They have uh, sort of that mountain vibe. So I thought this would be a cool way to uh, link the, our storage room in as well. So... Yeah, I really like this as a ceiling. You can see I went three tall with these walls. I've been uh, using some of the blocks. I think having a three wide showcase is kind of cool. Um, then on top, uh, we have a, just a line of adobe bricks kind of ending that, the lights in them. And then a little bit of a wood accent. Um, and then we're going to have sort of a rocky uh, tumbly. There's some slabs up there. Imagine all of that being peak stone, a little bit more roughed up. So it's sort of almost like we're protected from the mountain, but we're definitely inside of the mountain which I think is going to be a really cool vibe and a cool aesthetic to continue on in this section. So anyway, that's sort of this area a little bit done. I have to go collect some more peak stone. 
Um, but I also want to make some diamond armor because I've been wearing the subsidian armor and I'm getting crushed in some of these fights. Uh, we should also, let's go check our piggy, which is over here in our animal farm, I guess. I guess that's what we could call that area. <laughs> it's sort of an animal farm, I guess. That's basically all that's over there that I go back for. I'm slowly moving over our storage. It takes time. A lot of, a lot of chests and things to move. Um, speaking of chests and things to move, I wanted to grab some of this stuff. Well, we're over here. I noticed we hadn't brought any of it over, so just fill up our inventory. And uh, that's cool. That's another chest uh, gone. I believe we also took that one. Yeah, a few things here and there, but let's go see our pigsy. We, we probably should have gone out the other door. Our trog is still caught in the middle of the lake. I had to catch a second pigsy, by the way. No idea what happened to our first one. Hello, friend. Oh, yeah, he wants to poop. Takes a bit, eh? Cool, we've got pigsy droppings. What do we get? Some lettuce, some wheat, and some more pigsy droppings. All right, cool. I'm going to craft some diamond armor, do a little bit more building in our storage room here. Slowly but surely, we're getting everything done. All righty dighty. So, um, this section is pretty close to being finished. We've got uh, sections on the sides, and we'll do peak stone above them as well. They're a little bit lower than the section up here, but uh, I think it'll be cool. I'm not sure what to do for this center area. Um, the idea with this section is for it to be kind of rigid. Uh, you know, there's a lot of straight lines and pillars and, and whatnot, and that'll be good. And then once you're in here, it'll open up, which uh, has kind of always been the plan. I think I want to move these uh, up to here. Right. So if it's on, that means that there's something in that teleporter and that it's active. Um, and then if it's off, that means that it, there's nothing there. Um, you know, there, there's signs and whatnot, but just like an easy way to keep track. Um, so, just a nice little visual cue. I wish... I might do something with an arc sign there as opposed to using the paintings. I just think, uh, they're kind of, kind of plain. Nothing wrong with the paintings, I just, I, I think... Doing some sort of arc sign there, maybe like the channel logo, a little penguin or something could be kind of cool. Anyway, I got my diamond armor, so let's complete that. We get a diamond sword, very cool. We need lumite armor, right, right, right. Uh, so we need to go and complete this, um, which I had corruption dust. I picked up some to make the armor, so I, I sort of accidentally completed that. But I do need a ton more, I think, corruption dust and lumite, which is great because I have been not going to the uh, area very much. If I'm being honest, I, I've been... Uh, I, I don't go very often to... Um, can I make a forge? What am I missing? Bedrock. I don't go very often to uh, the corruption. Um, because I don't like to. Uh, and, um, so yeah, I kind of desperately need to go. And I think I'm going to make a day of it. I'm going to spend a ton of time and just get everything I need so that I don't have to go again. That would be the dream. Also, if you guys are curious what I'm doing here, um... I decided to uh, collect everything I'm getting from these quests so that at the end of all of the quests, uh, I can go, hey, this is all the stuff I got from these quests, which is cool. Um, so yeah, that that's what these chests are, by the way. So these are all the stuff I've gotten from quests so far. Some of the stuff is stuff I had to make for a quest, like all of the armor and whatnot. But a lot of it is uh, quite simply the stuff that you get for doing the quests, which is uh, pretty great. We should be full diamond. We are full diamond. We're at 560, which I think is pretty good. I'm not too sure. Um, so, yeah, I need to go to uh, the area down south. Um, well, no, not down south. Down below me. The corruption. Um, before I do that, well, there's a few things I want to do before I do that. But I kind of want to get this center part figured out. Um, I also want to figure out somewhere to put a bed in here. Uh, I was thinking just like right here, like we have this stuff, but it's pretty awkward. It's pretty awkward. So yeah, let me figure this out real fast and then we'll probably end today down in the corruption. Also, I think it'll be cool. Um, this uh, whole thing gave me a really awesome, because I want to get, uh, you know, um, 
all this armor and these swords and whatnot. I think it's going to be really cool. I want to make a room to showcase all of the different weapons and stuff. I know the snowmen can display the weapons. I also think the grab chambers might be a really cool way to display weapons. I'm not sure if there's a way we can display armor or not. But if you guys have any idea of how to sort of display things, I think that would be really cool to make a room where you can see sort of all of it. Because we're making all of it in these quests, so why not, right? Okay, time to uh, do a little design. <sighs> okay, so this is what I ended up with. It's very similar to the other ones. It's on the same level as this. But it kind of feels high because you go down. And then it's one above uh, these sides. I added these iron stairs just to block out the wood that was showing on either side. And I think they look pretty good. It's another texture. We could probably find another place for them, maybe. I was thinking maybe of... Uh, well, we could try it, actually. Uh, uh, I'm not sure which corner stair I actually wanted. Probably this one? Hmm... It's like kind of okay. It's like a little flavor. A little, little flavor town. Uh, I'm really lost on this rotation. It's rotating very awkwardly as to where I want it. Anyway, I don't think that'll work. Uh, no, that doesn't look very good. Anyway, um, I, I think those are fine. They just sort of accent what's already there. If we had uh, Adobe, if it had won like it should have, we would have had slopes and stairs and all sorts of things I could have used there. But Asphalt, come on. I still think it was rigged. Um, anyway, so yeah, now uh, that's all we're going to do on this section today. I just wanted to get the roof in and basically finish up the area that we'd already started, which um, I think looks really good. I actually really like this. Once we get Peakstone up there, I think it'll be great. We'll finish this room up next time, but for now, let's uh, go get some of this obsidian stuff uh, done. Right, I need another chest. So these chests over here will be the stuff that's going to go to our armory eventually, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to keep a plow on me. You know what, this is just going to be a garbage chest. Yeah, I died a few times, what of it? Probably about to die a bunch more, if I'm being honest with you guys. Both all of this can go in a different chest. Anyway, uh, let me get some stuff together. I'll meet you guys over in the corruption, because I have a bit of a plan, you see? Man, these quests are getting me to do things that I have been putting off doing, and I have been really enjoying it. One thing I've been meaning to do is set up a cactus flower farm, and... Uh, yeah, I needed some corruption potions, and uh, you need some cactus flowers, and uh, I thought, perfect, this is the perfect time to do this. So I'm going to set up um, a little bit of a thing right outside of where the teleporter from spawn comes to, just if other people come over here. Uh, I'll probably set up something maybe more permanent in the future, but um, yeah, something like this I think should work fine, just rows of cactus and then hopefully they grow flowers they used to grow flowers i remember doing that um in the desert it should be hot enough for them to grow without needing anything else i i grew them once in a in a mountain and you basically had to put a fireplace like next to them uh, on all sides which was uh which was fun so let's just uh how many more do i have that's it okay cool so i can make a ton of corruption potions the other thing i wanted to check out was some of the food I know uh, gives you pretty huge bonuses, so I think I might try and get like double health or whatever, and um, yeah, I'll meet you guys down in the corruption where there's actually something I want to try doing. Um, I set up this place, I don't know if you guys remember it, um, I set up this place as a treasure spawning room underneath spawn, it actually kind of works for its purpose. Most of the times I come down here, there is a treasure to laying around, which is cool. But it's not, uh, it's not really uh, great for anything else. It's not too much of a mob farm, which is definitely something I want to look into. Um, but the more I think about a mob farm, the more I think it probably shouldn't be at spawn, right? I wouldn't think. So, um, yeah. I don't know. Look, uh, I'm curious if you guys have any experience uh, building mob farms, you know, creating mob farms, doing anything of that. Just, uh, I'm, I'm very interested to see what people say about, um, mob farms in general and, and sort of what, uh, sh oh my gosh, those hit hard. Wow, okay. 
I, I thought I could take like a hit or two. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have to do some corruption stuff, but I just want to get your guys' opinions on how you do, how do you find and fight mobs in this game? I'm curious if you guys sort of just go caving or is it a, uh, sort of, I, I don't know. You guys let me know in those comments down below. I just checked the time of this video. I'm about out of time for recording. We did a lot of random things today. Um, we finished a little bit more of the storage room. We finished off a few more quests, which is pretty cool. Got some better armor. Uh, made a bunch of plans because I think that's just what I do in this game. I keep making future plans as opposed to just finishing what I have to do, you know, today. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of those comments down below. Leave a like and uh, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. A ciao!